Jurist Vodcast with Scott Pierce. The Fifth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution says that no person shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself. That seems simple enough. Let's take a look at a case that is more simple than some of the experts are making it seem. The defendant is a Canadian with U.S. residency. Border agents examined his laptop and discovered it contained child pornography. When the cops tried to inspect the laptop, they couldn't get to an encrypted part of the hard drive. A grand jury issued a subpoena for the password, but the defendant filed a motion to quash based on the Fifth Amendment. A U.S. magistrate judge granted the motion to quash. He ruled that the Fifth Amendment forbids the government from making the defendant testify against himself by disclosing the password. The government is free to try to crack the password code, but they concede this may be impossible. Let's get into the fine print. Technically, the issue turns on whether the password is testimonial evidence. Suppose defendant were accused of having contraband in a locked box. The court could compel him to turn over the key. A key is a physical object, not testimony. It's also completely legal for a court to order a defendant to allow himself to be fingerprinted or to give blood or even a voice sample because that's not testimony. Even though this issue deals with new technology, the issue isn't new. Here's a set of facts professors and judges use to make the distinction between testimonial and non-testimonial evidence. Suppose there's evidence inside a locked safe. It's non-testimonial to make the defendant turn over the key. But suppose there is no key, but instead a combination. It is testimonial to make the defendant disclose the combination. You can't make him do it. The facts in this laptop case are identical. The Fifth Amendment prevents the government from making anybody testify against themselves. It should be that law enforcement will be forbidden from making anybody turn over computer passwords. For Juris Vodcast, this is Scott Pierce. Thanks for your attention. Juris Vodcast is a production of Nuclear Podcasting. Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives.